Melanie from Living Luxuriously for Less. And today I want to show you how I redid my nephew's studio apartment from college. Come on in and I'll show you guys the before and after. Okay, so let's get started with the before. Now, let me give you guys a little background on this space. This used to be an old hotel, and the owner decided to kind of refurbish and redo this hotel and create a, an efficiency living space for college students. And so one of the things that I loved about this space was that he kept the floors and the paint and the furniture neutral. And a couple of takeaways that I got was that it was dark because it used to be in a, a hotel. So the lighting was not good. And I really didn't care for that big wooden piece of furniture there. Now I did like the fact that it had um, a closet space and it was kind of substantial for a college student and it has a small bathroom. And so here's the bathroom on the opposite side here. Um, and again, like I said, the lighting was really bad. So on the opposite side is the shower. I did not film the shower, but this is the overall size of the room. A pretty good size, but if you put like a full size bed in this room, it would take up the entire room. And so we needed to make this space functional. And so here's this big piece that I was telling you guys about about and it was quite you know difficult to work around but we were able to do that and I'm going to show you guys that in just a moment I did like that it had a refrigerator freezer and a microwave and so we're going to talk about a couple of tips so tip number one you need to assess your needs and one of the things that we needed we needed somewhere to sleep we needed somewhere to study we needed somewhere for extra storage somewhere to eat and somewhere to sit now that we've assessed all of our needs, we're ready to move on to tip number two, and that is to take notes. And so some of the things we want to make sure that we notate is exactly what we need for the space. We want to notate measurements for furniture, wall sizes, pictures, colors, inspiration, and different items that we may need for the space. Now that we've taken our notes, we're ready to move on to tip number three, which is to find your inspiration piece. Now, I went to my store, Hobby Lobby, and I started looking for pictures. And when I came across these, I knew that they would be perfect for my nephew. He is such an artsy kind of guy. And I mean, I just the, the saying on the picture, the arrows, the, you know, the gentleman, um, animals and everything was just so perfect for him and so I grabbed those up and went over and found a couple of lamps because remember we need lights and I thought those would work perfectly and then I thought back to these pillows that Very Carrie had posted on Instagram that she couldn't really find a place to use but uh, unfortunately they weren't at the store anymore and so we were not able to use those. And so we had to go back to the drawing board and find some more inspiration. So tip number four is to put everything in place. Once you've made all your purchases, put them in place and see what works and what doesn't work. And then we are ready for the after. And so here's the completed space. I was so ecstatic with the way that this turned out. I did find a pug pillow and my nephew absolutely loved it. We found this amazing sleeper sofa at a local storage charcoal gray with the nail heads and it worked out perfectly. Okay, so here is his bed when it's all let out. Now, I do know that this is a 19-year-old college student, and it probably won't look like this every day. I'll just be excited if he folds it up and, you know, put it back together. But um, I love the way that it turned out, and this is a great idea for, you know, someone who may live in a bigger city. Um, this is, just shows you the potential that an efficiency or studio apartment could have. Now, I did find the little pug pillow at Hobby Lobby and I pulled the colors of the pillows on the bed from the colors in the photos above the sofa sleeper. And so I thought all of that came together rather nicely. And the color pattern that I used was gray, black, oranges, red, turquoise. And so it just kind of all blended together. Now, I wanted to show you guys how much room he actually had. This this sleeper led out to a full-size bed. And so he still had room to move around the bottom of his bed. And I wanted to point that out to you guys. And so here is the area all set up again. If you notice, I have a lot of lamps around. And the reason I have a lot of lamps is because of the lighting that I was sharing with you guys earlier. That's 
end table with the lamp, those came from Hobby Lobby and they were around $30. The arrows also came from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to give you guys a more complete tour of that area soon. So we have taken care of our sitting area and our sleeping area. So next is our eating area. And I found this table at TJ Maxx. It was an amazing deal. And I'm going to share a little bit more about that story with you guys later. But underneath, I put this rug. And it's actually two different rugs. And my mother-in-law told me, she's like, if you can't find the rug you want, just put the two together and tape them underneath. And it worked out perfectly in that area because I wanted to give a little bit different um, color underneath that metal table and so it worked out absolutely perfectly. So now we have somewhere to sleep, somewhere to eat, somewhere to sit and Here's our next space, somewhere to study. Here's his desk area. The desk and the chair both came from Walmart. The lamp came from Ross, and all of the other accent pieces that you see here came from Hobby Lobby, and all of this was purchased within the past week. On the right-hand side, you see a black screen. I added a black screen on either side of the room to add a little bit of contrast, texture, and interest to the room because all of this is in one room. And here's the overall space again. The trunk that you see in front of the sofa serves as both a coffee table and a storage space for his pillows and his comforter. And here's the desk space. You can see that. And here's when you first walk in. I just added the mirror on that small table. It's kind of short, but it works for right now. On the left-hand side, we were able to put in his dresser. So that brought in more storage. And then on either side of the TV, I have the little small storage bins that house all of his cords, like this little wacky cord you see behind his DVD player. I found these super cute bookends at TJ Maxx. They were $5, and I thought they were so cute. One side was like, you know, headphones and or the beats and then the other side looks like an old record player so I thought that was really cute um, especially for his apartment um, for a guy and so here's the overall space again I'm just kind of give you guys a quick view of the overall space again everything worked out and you know I want, want to just advise you guys that you know once you start putting things in place um, if they don't work out go back and find something else and make sure you don't pull the receipt off anything until or the ticket off anything until you're sure that it, it fits and that it works I love the mixture of the leather and wood and metal mixture It's such a great you know combination for a guy now here's the bathroom. I didn't do a whole lot in the bathroom. Um, all of the things that you see here came from Ross with the exception of the towel. I did borrow the towels for uh, from my bathroom for video and purposes. But now I have found the perfect towels for his bathroom and they are in place and they look perfect as well. So tip number five, and that is to stay budget conscious. Now I've seen this uh, little table or bistro set at TJ Maxx a while back, and I believe it was $2.99. And when I looked at it, it was still marked down to $1.99. And I thought, well, this should be a little bit cheaper now. So I asked for a manager, and it just so happened that the manager watches me on YouTube. So hey, how you doing, girl? And um, it ended up being $99, which was within my budget because I had a $200 budget to, you know, purchase uh, things for this particular space. And so it worked out great. So tip, tip number six, and that is take time to evaluate and enjoy your work. And so I just want to show you guys a couple of the still shots that my friend Brittany took of the apartment. It looks so amazing, you guys. And I'm just so pleased with the way that it turned out. My nephew absolutely loves it. And it just, you know, is so functional. He has everything he needs. You know, all of the, the needs that we uh, assess at the beginning of the video, he has everything covered here. He has plenty of storage space. He has space to grow. And I know it probably won't look like this when I go visit him in a, next week or tomorrow, but it really is a cozy space and everything is so congruent and you know the theme just kind of carries throughout the apartment and it's it's just such a cute space for him
Now that brings us to our seventh and final tip, and that is to have a little fun. Now, when I was overlooking my nephew's balcony, I looked across the street and I saw some graffiti on the wall, and it looked so interesting. And I thought I was really cute that day. I had on a $5 thrift store jacket that was amazing, and I thought, what about a little fashion show? Are you guys ready for some street fashion? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found tons of inspiration for decorating small spaces such as studio or efficiency apartments. If you haven't already, I'd love for you to be a part of the Lux for Less family. All you have to do is click that subscribe button and you are automatically a member. And I would love for you to click that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. i love to see what content you guys enjoy seeing from me. And finally, if you don't mind, comment below on which area in his apartment you like most. For me, it was his sitting slash sleeping area. But I'd love to hear from you guys what was your favorite area. The sitting slash sleeping area, the eating area, or the study area. Leave it in the comments below and tell me why. Until next time, it's Melanie for Living Luxuriously for Less. Bye-bye.